Hello everybody, this is T2 Tutorials, and today I have for you this quick and fun little barrel-based hidden entrance. Now, of course, if you really wanted this to be hidden, you wouldn't be using glass walls in the middle of a barren super flat world, so let's hop into another world to show you an example of how this could work in a survival context. So you're probably thinking, oh, he's just making some dinner or washing the dishes. Wrong. I'm actually paying a visit to my personal dungeon conveniently beneath my house, which, if you don't have one, pff, you should, to pray to the Temple of the Monetization Gods. Like every good faithful YouTuber should, and of course pay my respects to the Shrine of Subscription with this redstone sacrifice. Because what else would I use an entrance like this for? <clears throat> uh, anyways, so the reason I came up with this entrance in the first place was because I had this staircase leading down from a skeleton mobs grinder to my micro farm. By the way, the designs for both of which are on this channel, links in the description. And then I later discovered that there was a slime chunk right next to the staircase itself. So I wanted to take advantage of this, of course, by building a slime farm. But then I thought to myself, well, how am I gonna access the drops from the slime farm? I thought about a door leading through here, but of course these blocks would be pretty hard to move out of the way. So I came up with the idea of using the barrel it was built into the wall to get to the other side. So that's the origin of this contraption. Back in the showcase world now, I can show you guys how this works and then we'll get on to the tutorial in about a minute. And so the first thing you'll notice is that there's really not a lot of redstone going on here. And that's because there's actually only two things we need to do to get this entrance working. One of them is to retract this block here, which lets the player access the crawl space. And the other is to flip this trap door down, which will put the player into crawl mode. The way we accomplish this is by detecting when this barrel has been opened by using this observer. This observer powers this piston here, which does two things. One, it deactivates this redstone torch, which allows that trap door to flip down. And the other is that it deactivates this piston here, which in its current state is being quasi-powered by this redstone block here. So once that happens, this redstone block shifts over here, which causes this piston to retract as well, allowing the player to enter the space. And this actually happens just before the trap door is flipped, even though it looks like there's just a simple repeater leading into that. And that's because in Minecraft, pistons retract instantly, which means that we have this piston retracting, this piston retracting, and this piston retracting which means that there's absolutely no delay between any of those components, and that's why everything happens so fast. However, they don't extend instantly, which is what gives the player time to get in and out of the crawl space. Finally, we have the exit from the crawl space, and I think the way this works is actually really interesting because it uses the same redstone block as the entry circuit, except this time, instead of pulling the redstone block upwards, it pushes it across to the side, which still has the effect of deactivating this piston and causing the floor to be pulled down. But now there's not a redstone block pushed up into this space, so the repeater doesn't activate and the trap door doesn't get flipped down. So it doesn't get in the way when you're getting pushed out by the piston. One final thing to note is that unless you're using a transparent block for your floor, you will take half a heart of damage whenever you use this entrance. All right, to build this thing, you're gonna need one barrel, one trap door, one observer, four sticky pistons, two redstone blocks, a note block, any kind of pressure plate, a repeater, one redstone torch, five building blocks, and one slab. Our workspace this time around is a two by four by four area, and only being two blocks wide, you should be able to slot this in just about anywhere. So we're gonna get things started by placing a piston facing upwards in the bottom right corner of our floor, and place a redstone block next to that, and then this block on top of the piston will be our floor level. Next, we want another sticky piston facing towards this redstone block, but one block away from it, like this, and then a note block to the left of that piston, and a redstone block on top that should extend the piston out. Next, we want another block on top of this piston, and a repeater, just on a normal one tick delay, facing in this direction. Run that into a block with a redstone torch on the side of that block. Next, we can place our barrel on top of this torch, like this, and place our trap door in front like this, and you should see that it gets powered by the redstone torch through the barrel. Next, for our barrel detection, we're gonna place an observer in this direction, running into a block with a sticky piston on the side of it facing downwards like this. And that will actually complete the entire entrance circuit for this contraption. 
Finally, for our exit circuit, we want to place a pressure plate on top of a slab next to this repeater, and then place our last sticky piston right next to the slab facing towards this redstone block. And then finally, we can fill in the rest of the floor of our crawl space, so that's a block here. And then you'll probably also want to cover the sides of this, although if you're building this underground, this should be taken care of already. Just like that, you can extend this along this tunnel along as far as you want, have branching pathways if you'd like, whatever you want to do with it. And then once you have a route that you're happy with, you can build uh, additional exits that are the exact same configuration as here at the end of any of these pathways. Here's an example of what that might look like with part of the walls and floors all filled in. And I've replaced all the quartz back here with glass so you can see what's going on a bit better. So each of these modules or exits are exactly the same as the one I showed in the tutorial. So if we hop in from this point here, we can walk through, pick any direction we want to go. I'll go this way. And you'll see that we get let out just like normal. One last really important detail is that you need to make sure that this piston here in the back has room to extend. So there can't be any blocks uh, to the left of this redstone block here. So if you're building this underground or into the ground, make sure you mine out this space, otherwise the circuit will break. If you want to have a setup like the beginning of this video where you just pass through a wall and end up on the other side, this is the closest uh, two of these modules can be to each other. So you see that they actually share this middle power block and this piston here. And that's just mirroring the exact same design on the other side. And that will leave just a one block space between the two walls, which I think is pretty close. All right, guys, that's about it for today's tutorial. I hope at least some of you found it useful. And I'm sorry for the absolutely garbage upload schedule on my channel so far. I know I've been really infrequent with posting videos, and that's something that I'm hoping to improve on from this point forward. But thank you for being patient with me so far. As always, please leave your suggestions and requests for future redstone ideas in the comment section. And leave a like on this video if you did, and feel free to subscribe. The monetization gods have been pretty angry recently, so that might appease them a bit. Anyways, thank you all so much for tuning in. This has been T2, and that's a wrap. Have a great day.